And we will now begin our demonstration of the uh, Limehouse game. Uh, I'll just very quickly log in for us. Uh, this uh, user, um, Tom J, um, is already recognized by the system um, and has a password. So we will log right in to the main uh, game window. Uh, we've already set up, of course, the uh, client um, and the server. Um, and I'll be showing you the uh, server um, player monitoring system uh, shortly. But here we are at the main login window. There are many nice features that have been developed um, by our students. Uh, you'll notice the mouse over capability, so you can choose here a slots game or a craps game, or you can choose a poker game. Uh, up here at the top, um, we have other options that are uh, possible. If I want to send a message from the casino floor, I'm having trouble on the casino floor at my game, I can send a request to the back room um, where they're monitoring my game play and my account statistics. Uh, if I want to change my um, password, I can also do that um, by clicking on the um, password icon. If I want to add sound back in, um, I can do that, and I'll have uh, casino sounds um, playing uh, in the background. But we'll uh, leave that off for now. And um, then we can also um, give you a quick introduction to our student team. Um, here we see uh, Peter, Brian, Gil, and Matt, a four-member freshman team who, as I mentioned earlier, um, had not uh, done any uh, visual programming at all 14 weeks ago uh, before the completion of this uh, as their first major project. Um, let's just log on to one of the games. This is a very nice uh, slot machine. This was developed um, by Peter Sylvester. Um, Peter had done uh, one semester of uh, basic console programming in C++ uh, prior to entering into the CS2 class. Um, this is a very nice uh, game, very nice graphics, uh, very nice features. Um, here we'll increase our bet amount up here at the top to 100 rather than to $5. Um, we also have a progressive uh, jackpot here. As you notice, it's continuing um, to add values uh, at $10 increments. Um, we have over here the total amount of assets that Tom J has. This is, of course, all being recorded uh, in the back room on the server system, which I'll show you in a little bit. And it's keeping track of all of the activity that's happening um, at this particular client. Um, we will uh, bet several amounts. We have a debug window down here keeping track of exactly what um, the client is doing. And, um, and now we will play the game and spin um, the slot machine. And it uh, looks like uh, we lost. And uh, we'll bet one more time and uh, see how we do. Um, and it looks like I'm not doing very well. Uh, my total assets are in pretty bad shape at this particular time. Um, I can uh, exit my game. And um, one of the nice features is that I keep track of my assets in the game so that if I want to uh, go and play uh, poker, um, I still have my assets being tracked, uh, being kept track of, of course, at the back room. Um, I can bet the max here with the standard poker game. And um, it doesn't look like I have a very good hand here. Um, but um, select the cards you wish to discard. I probably wish to discard most about everything. Um, uh, I think maybe I'll keep the king and the queen and we'll draw. And of course, um, I lose and I'm down to $145. Again, very nice uh, implementation. Uh, this was done by uh, Matt Riley. And again, going back um, to the main game selection, uh, this also has very nice features developed, all done, of course, with full object-oriented programming. Uh, you'll notice how the dice are stacking uh, quite nicely. Um, and uh, I will um, deal here. Um, a jack and a 12. It looks like I'll take on another hit. And it looks like I lose, and I'm down to about $85. Um, again, a very nice implementation. Um, we can tab insurance. Um, he can double his bet. Um, all of the standard rules of blackjack are uh, in play. And then, of course, one of my favorites um, is our uh, prep table, uh, where we have a nice offset kind of a table. Kind of gives sort of a 3D image. Um, I can select a very high bet. Uh, uh, bet. I'll uh, bet $100 in a variety of places. And um, We'll shoot the dice and see how I do. And it looks like I come up with a six. Um, a lot of uh, money has uh, disappeared. I now have negative assets, so I'm in debt to the, uh, to the house. And um, I can keep rolling. I have a crap there. Unfortunately, my hard ways were also already off. Again, a very nice um, implementation um, of the crap game. Again, this four-man team uh, developed this game um, 
in uh, 14 weeks um, using what we call the G method. Um, it's a method that uses some uh, agile software uh, engineering techniques along with quick prototyping and uh, some pyramid uh, integration schemes. Uh, but it is based entirely on independent study, uh, which is the only way we've found that you can do massive knowledge assimilation um, to be able to achieve these kinds of results uh, in a short period of time. We have found that lecturing um, slows down the process of learning, so we're entirely oriented towards uh, independent learning, cooperative teamwork, student sharing of knowledge, and we try to keep um, our instructor uh, lectures uh, to a minimum. Uh, so this is a very nice um, set of games, and now I'm going to show you uh, some of the history that we preserved over uh, on the server. Bear with me as we uh, zoom uh, in and out of the various scenes. Um, here I have a picture of uh, the server. Uh, there's three dimensions to the server uh, that we may want to look at um, as we move just a little bit closer to get a little bit better view. Um, this is a, a scene of one of the windows uh, that's indicating that Tom J, which was me, has logged on. Um, it has the total number of assets um, tracked, which is uh, a negative $420. Identifies my name as uh, Sam Jones. Um, it identifies the time that I was last seen. And you'll notice that in this window, um, I can send um, messages um, to the player um, from the server side. Um, for example, I might identify um, uh, you need to go to the bank. Uh, and identify uh, that uh, the user uh, should, in fact, add more money. If I scan real quickly back over here um, to the Limehouse game and scan down, uh, you'll see uh, that the type, mistyped message that I just sent, you need to go to the bank, um, actually appears um, on the player Tom J's screen. So there's some very nice features, again, uh, of the game. Uh, you'll notice that I can kick the player off uh, if I believe that he is in uh, too much debt. Um, I have the option right here with the kick uh, button to uh, remove uh, the player reason for the disconnect. Um, and I, I won't give him a reason, I'll just uh, kick him off. And he will be disconnected and uh, will no longer uh, be able to play. Um, we also have down here a complete uh, log window I'm tracking the performance um, of what's taking place. Every time a user logs on to the server, um, it is I kept track of here at the log window. You notice here um, that I logged on as uh, Tom J. Um, I started with $670, and then each of my bets um, is being kept track of um, after, of course, I've logged on to various games. Uh, you'll notice that it also would keep track uh, of when I've changed games uh, and when I've had any kind of an asset change. Also notice that it keeps track of the uh, you need to go to the bank message, which is uh, actually identified right down here at the uh, bottom, the second from the bottom. And then, of course, um, in a player monitoring and control system, you need to have complete um, database of all of the players. And um, here you have that uh, being displayed. Uh, you'll notice uh, that the user, uh, Tom J, Sam Jones, um, is in fact in the uh, database. Uh, if I were not in the database, of course, um, the students have implemented the option that I actually can when I sign on to a client, can't I uh, register as a user? And then, of course, I get added to the beta database and I start with my standard amount of $500 in my debit account. So that's just a quick introduction to a full client server um, casino game developed in 14 weeks.